Okay, so we've seen how to change the text and apply different fonts in our design, but we've really focused on the fonts which have already been installed on the user's computer, so Arial, Times New Roman, and so on. What if, for example, in your design here, for our headings, we wanted to use a font which we knew wasn't installed on the end user's computer? Well, CSS provides a feature where we can deliver that font along with our web page. So, if you went over to Google and search for free fonts, you'll no doubt come across thousands of websites where you can download free fonts. Um, let's just have a quick look at a few of these. I'll open them in new tabs. So 1001 free fonts, lots of free fonts there, download button. This is quite a nice website. But a website I tend to use quite often is this one here, daffont.com. Again, lots of different categories. So let's look for maybe a comic font. Okay, I quite like this one, bada boom. Let's download this. So it'll usually come down as a zip file and uh, let's open that zip file up. So there's our font, badaab.ttf. Okay, so that font needs to be in the same location as my web pages. So I'll just drag it into my pages folder. And what I'll do is I will rename that as well to make it a little bit easier for us to work with. So I'll call that one bad.ttf. Okay back over to my text editor. Here's our basic web page. And now what we can do is we can write CSS to load that file in at runtime. Now, we're gonna use something called font face. Now this is where we tell the browser uh, what font we're gonna use. So we're gonna use the uh, font family again. And we're gonna give it a custom name. I'm gonna call it my font. Next line down, I'm going to tell the browser where that font is located. So we're going to use the source property and we're going to tell it the location of that file. Oops, sorry, URL. The location of that file, if you remember, we called it bada.ttf. And then we're going to apply it inside our browser. So we're going to say change the h1 heading. So h1 and we will say font family and we're going to make the custom name which we called my font so my font and if we save that go back to our browser and press refresh ah okay what well, well, let's have a look what's happened here so we've set the source to bada.ttf let me just make sure it is actually called that ah okay i called it bad.ttf actually let's use this as an opportunity to show Visual Studio Code developer tools. Right, so there's the browser. We're gonna right click on that and click inspect. Let's just have a look to see what's happening. Now there's a little, there's something in red at the bottom. If we just roll up, let's move this so we can see it all on the same screen. I need to make it a bit smaller so you can see it. There we go. So the browser is actually telling me there's an error here indicated here with a little one and a cross, and it's saying failed to load the resource. It can't find the file called bada.ttf. Now that's to be expected because there isn't a file called bada.ttf. So let's go and modify that and rename it to bad. I will save that. I'll go back to my browser and I'll refresh. And there you go, there's, there's the custom font applied. So we just covered custom fonts using font face but it also gave us a nice opportunity to look at the developer tools to see how that can help us out doing a little bit of debugging.